Hey there everybody, welcome again, it's Davis and today we're going to be working on this search bar mechanism stuff. First off, I want to apologize for not posting ever since I am writing some kind of exam like that. So I don't actually have time to post and I'll be done late July. So from there I will start doing YouTube almost full time. Okay, so yeah, in this tutorial what we're going to do is a basic search bar like this and we can search for names or whatever is in the list for example if you want to find tom you just type in tom and it's going to filter everything for you for example um whatever you want that is in the list oh wow there's juice world here <laughs> okay not like i'm a great fan or something <laughs> so um that's what we're going to do so let's jump right into the tutorial first off i want to just show you the simple node structure i have here which is my control node which is the root node then a search bar scroll container and some items in um a vbox container under it something like this so i'm too lazy to type in all these um, buttons in, in the, and the names in, individually so what i'm going to do is these items i'm just going to add a script and yeah put this code in there which is just the names in an array and on the ready i'm going to loop through and just attach the text to each button here and stuff so yeah that's a very simple hacky way that i could do that so now to start actually coding the um search bar stuff what i'm going to do is i added a square i added it was a script for the root node which is a control node and first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to co i'm going to connect a signal which is the text change signal from the search bar to the control node okay so when i connect that we should have something like this so first off we're going to start by making some variables that we need so number one we're going to make matches okay so we're going to make matches which is going to be an empty array and the next one is an already variable already var um, items which is going to be equal to just that items node the get underscore children so we're going to get all the buttons on the ready so yeah that should be it so first off i am in this function we're going to say if new underscore text is equal to nothing then we want to return so that should be the first thing if there is nothing in the text box we shouldn't do anything okay i'm just going to space this out a little bit so now the next thing we're going to type in is a for loop so we say for i in gets children sorry for i in items so for so for every button we're going to say if new text is in that button i dot text so if if our new text or if whatever we typed is in any of those button texts then we should append it to the matches array so we say matches the append i so yeah that should do it that should be good next up another for loop for i in items again and uh, why we're doing this is so that we'll be able to um, make others visible and invisible so we say if i is in matches so if i is in the matches array then we want to show it okay show so we're going to show whatever is in the matches array and else we're going to hide whatever is in the matches array sorry whatever is not in the matches array array so yeah anyways it's a more simple way for me to just carry out this code is just to use a tenary if statement instead F -F. So that works. Um, I think this should be all. We're gonna run it and see if we run into any problems. So we're just gonna try to search Dave. Okay, it works. But the problem is, uh, as you can see, I type D A V I E, and David is still showing. So that's a problem. So the way to fix that is to come over here. Sorry. After this, we're going to clear the matches array every time okay so every time we're going to clear it and check it again you can see the 
oh yeah so it works now so if i erase this um if you notice it's even after i erased everything we are not seeing the whole complete array again the reason for that is that is because um my array is empty and when it just comes here it's going to return and it's not going to do anything so what i would say is for i in items um so for that we say i dot show so anytime the array is empty or the text box is empty we want to show up everything i think this should work um let's say john yeah every, it works so um fred so everything works nicely so another problem i noticed was if i type the things in lowercase letters as, as you see here something like john is meant to show up but since j is an uppercase letter uppercase letter is going to ignore it i don't know why so what we're going to do is as the new text comes we're going to turn it into lowercase so we'll be like new text equals to new text dot to lower so this is going to turn it into lowercase and also when we check here we're going to say dot to underscore lower so that we can balance up everything there so i think this should be all that we need um i don't expect to come back anymore so john yeah it works lowercase letters works with uppercase um searches so yeah everything works nicely this is how to make a simple search mechanism stuff i don't know what to call it <laughs> so yeah thanks for watching see you guys next time hopefully um when i come back i'm going to answer all of your questions i'm sorry for not answering your comments lately as i said before i've been busy so yeah always try to create time for you guys see you guys next time again Smash subscribe Bye.